Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNut and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within in our Valkyrie playthrough, which still means that we only use female soldiers, so no male soldiers allowed. I'm gonna start off with another reminder that you, the viewer, you guys can all uh, add custom names for our soldiers, for our lovely ladies here in the comment section below, so don't forget to do that if you got a uh, fancy name for one of these ladies. And today we are going to do one of the most dreaded missions in XCOM, Portent, which will, uh, in which we'll uh, start encountering Tin Man, which have incredible aim and can poison our fair-haired ladies. Well, they're not all fair-haired, but hey. Um, you might have noticed that I changed Blake's outfit with uh, loadout with uh, the body arm instead of the med kit, just uh, so I so she has a bit more survivability. So she can re re uh, resist a single shot normally. So, if all goes well, we should end up with 150 credits, an extra engineer and an extra scientist. So, let's go there. I think it's French, France that we're going to. Strike one. Prepare yep. for There we go. France is sending an urgent mission request. Yes, indeed. The one advantage we have in this mission is that we know the enemy positions. This is a, a scripted mission. Well, the, the time you're gonna There's get this mission is not always the same. There's about this ambush on a French military convoy, but we don't have much to go on. Our primary but the enemy positions the are always the same, so let's start by putting Ruby on top here. We need to secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. New objective received. Affirmative. Moving out. So let's put everyone inside, as far as we can. So there are two tin men just outside the building, around here somewhere, and another one on top of the building. So we need to take out those three at the same time, ideally. Because I'm not really sure that we'll be able to do that just yet. Um, I'm gonna try and put Ruby Orders over here so Moving she out. has a bit more... Yeah, okay. And then put Blake as an assault closer to the middle so she can go left or right depending on where Location the men have hidden themselves. Uh, Wise should go Already over there. here and then we would... Yang over Moving. here. So next turn we'll be ready to pop open those gates and those doors to uh, get the jump on all of the Tin Men. So I can get towards the edge with one move, which means I can get another shot off with the pistol if needed. And I think that if I open this door right now, I only trigger the ones on the left. Target acquired. So there we go. Two Tin Men. As expected, so one goes to the left and one immediately to the right. And the third one, you can see we have three options, is right on top of the building. So what does that mean? That means we can only... I'm gonna open the gate as well. We can't really move if we don't want to trigger the third one, which we ideally shouldn't. Um, but it also means that we... Uh, we need to start taking these shots from here. I could, of course, use a rocket and blow these two up in one shot, but I kind of do want to save my rockets. If I move up, I'm also going to trigger the one on top. So ideally, Ruby will also not have a shot. So we have two Tin Men that we need to take out with three soldiers. We have not amazing chances, but it could do for now but of course if we move we trigger the one on top question is do we want to risk that in order to get better angles at these guys i think we should so therefore wise we get Rolling. to the outside oh okay we don't trigger the third one okay this is great so that gives me a flank shot on the one in full cover behind the wall hopefully Ah, okay, that's not a great. That's not great. That's not great at all. So I'm, I'm not gonna risk anything. I'm gonna use the rocket to uh, take out these two guys. So that's still red, I believe. 
down there, so I should be able to kill them both. Yeah, that's 90%, so there we go. With pleasure. Yeah, that's two, uh, two down, so we don't need to be careful about uh, activating one too many. So now, all that's left is trying to kill this one immediately. Um, Tin men explode with a poisonous cloud when they're killed, but I think that if I set myself up right there, with a running gun of course, I should be able to kill this one without getting poisoned. Hopefully. Because of course, we can only do 4 damage with our rifles. And this guy has 4 health. <sighs> Thank you, Blake. Thank you. And she's not poisoned, which is great as well. And I think I can't put Ruby up here without much issue. Yeah, thank you. And then just hunker down. Whew! Okay, great first turn. Too bad about that 85% shot we completely missed. Which uh, forced me uh, to use a rocket. Gonna try and move up a bit. There's another Tin Man on the right here near uh, one of these vehicles. So we need to be careful not to go too fast. Um, I'm not gonna move up with Wise just yet, so Blake, come a bit closer. Oh, that's... Whoo. I thought she was going straight through that cloud, which apparently did not happen. Strange. I'm gonna rotate the camera a bit because he seems to be having trouble. Move up Yang, who got the, uh, the nickname Doomsday apparently. And Ruby is good around here for now, I think. Although I do want to get her more to this side to get a better angle to the side of the building. Roger, tracking. There we go. And then... Twice oh, reload. Yeah. Ooh, I'm a bit tense, sorry. And everybody else that hasn't shot on Overwatch and go. Lake reload as well. And you hunker down again. So now, we need to trigger the one on the right. Heading out. But I'm first gonna try to get more of our soldiers inside the building. Aye, Commander. We need to be careful because the wall is completely... Well, I won't be able to enter the building <laughs> covertly, I think. Because the wall's completely gone. I do think that putting wise here is a good idea. Ah, crap. Seriously? Okay, she can shoot. 97% shot. And apparently she can shoot as well. How the hell? Oh, straight through the... God damn it. Why did she trigger that? She couldn't see that over the tank, could she? Okay, let's go for the pretty sure thing. 97% chance to hit and 55% for a critical. She shouldn't be able to hit that as we look at it from here. But hey, please do, please do, please kill it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So we can't shoot with Yang. And we can't, can shoot with Blake. But that's just... Terrible. So I'm gonna pull Blake back. Moving. So now he shouldn't be able to know where my soldiers are, otherwise he cheated. And we're gonna use Overwatch with Yang, which who has incredible aim, hopefully. One damage is enough. He doesn't have an aim penalty when reaction shotting, so fingers crossed. And she can get that son of a bitch. Oh, seriously? Uh, miraculously, he misses. Those bodies don't look like they've been hit by alien weapons fire. 
These men were killed by conventional bullets. So again, Ruby has a shot. So I'm gonna let her take it. And hopefully kill it. And then, since that missed, hmm, I need a better angle on this. Yang has a shot, but again a terrible one. Blake's one should be better, but it isn't for some reason. I'm on the move. There we go. 59. I'm gonna take the pistol because otherwise it would be a waste. Here we go. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew. Yeah, okay. So move the rice up. She shouldn't trigger anything. And then let Yang go a bit closer as well. The next tin man is at the opposite side of the building, I think, so we should be able to handle that. I think it's only one. So, right now, I think the most important thing is to start reloading Let's do this. the ones that need to be reloaded. Luckily I used my uh, my pistol with Blake. I'm not gonna move up Blake because that would be stupid I think. I'm gonna Moving move out. Yang closer. Shouldn't trigger anything. Maybe I should. Mm, no I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I don't wanna take a single bit of risk here. Heading out. Yeah, there we go. Even though I know there's only one tin man left, I really don't want to risk anything. Or two, who knows? Maybe two. Um, gotta move her here. Good thing. Move Yang closer. Sensors still indicate life signs. Okay, there we have the survivor. We have a new objective. So that's the guy we need to reach. For now we're just gonna slowly creep up on him. Good to go. Should be far enough, yeah, okay. Because I think he's at that truck around here somewhere, so uh careful if the bitty steps forward. Okay. And now, let's put Blake closer first. Although I might try and put her around to this side of the Moving building. Position. Open the door. Open there. Okay. And try. Heading to that location. That wise loop around. And again, really slowly make progress. Tin men are really sons of bitches, so I'm not gonna take any chance. Commander. Yeah, I looks know. like there's still someone alive over there. He's still gonna bother me. For questioning. Maybe we can figure out what happened here. Okay. Or maybe not. Let's put her over here. Out. Full cover. No, nothing. But I think we will, however. Moving to position. We have reaction here. No. Okay. Okay. Didn't expect that one. I'm not close enough to him to trigger him yet, so I'm gonna now. put wise here. Yeah. Okay. Am I mistaken? Is there no other Tin Man? I thought there was. I'm pretty sure there is. So 
Let's okay. put it in here. It just got yeah, there there. Go. there we go. There we go. Alright, alright, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so now... We can even flank him, can't we? Yeah, okay. That's great news. So we have a direct shot with Yang. And then we have Wise sitting here. I don't want to get her closer to that guy. I want to get her flanked as well. So let's put her over here. Oh crap, did we trigger him? It looks like he's the only witness to Fuck. survive this fight. Okay. For all we know, he was one of the aggressors. We need to bring him in, whether he likes it or not. Objectives updated. So that's not that much of a problem, I hope. Well, uh, since we now triggered that guy, I'm gonna have to start moving on things. The main objective is now that we get him back to the extraction zone, which is over here. But while we move him, a lot of tin men will start spawning. So we do want to clear him out as fast as possible without getting anyone killed. So Yang has 69 and Weiss has 69. So we're gonna try with Weiss first. There we go! Well done, girl. And then I'm gonna take advantage of that and try to put uh, Yang on the roof already. Since we triggered the survivor, I think there's one tin man that spawns on top Target of the roof. On our way. So let's check out where we can put the other ones. Blake I can also put on the roof. Aye, aye, Commander. Maybe that's not a bad idea. And I'm gonna make him stay put right now. Because uh, the way this works is the waves of Tin Man are only triggered as long as this guy moves forward. So at a certain threshold, Tin Man, the Tin Man will start spawning. So for now we're not going to move him an inch. And I hope the sniper overwatch shot we're picking is up enough. Into the AO. So there's the one on the roof I was talking about. I think there's one on the left as well. Yeah, there we go. Ruby has sight on two of those. Oh yes, thank you. Sweet Jesus release. Okay, and I think she should be able to shoot the other one as well, yeah. Okay, weird that she didn't over overwatch that guy immediately. But we have incredible shots with everybody else as well. Uh, apparently not. They can't see that one. So we have two shots to kill that one. It's 77 with Ruby. I'm gonna try Yang first, which is 100%, which should technically kill him. Yeah, thank you. Okay. First two are taken care of. So now I can uh, rearrange the soldiers a bit. I do want to keep one Moving. on top here, and Yang will move forward. Uh, Wise, I'll move forward as well. Well, backwards, depending, depending on how you watch this. Uh, I don't think there will be any spawn, so I'm gonna reload everyone. Hunker down the survivor, and reload with the sniper again. Yeah, there we go. If it switches that fast, there will be no spawn, so... Uh, now we've got Yang. Let's put her in a better position than she was. Uh, the closer the better. Because we're gonna have, I think, one more on the roof and one more on the tank. Then there will be one on the truck back here, which is why I leave Blake up on the roof. And then there will be, I think, three spawns here. A Tin Man, a Sectoid, and another Tin Man over there. Which is why Ruby is in prime position to take anyone out that comes too close. But. Yes, I said but. Heading to that location. So moving everyone up. Except for the survivor. Let's do this. Going around with reloads. 
setting overwatches and then hunkering down again. So yeah, as long as I don't move the survivor, nothing will happen. But I think everyone is in good position, so I'm gonna move him up till there. A bunch of puppets. And then let him head down. And then everybody on extreme overwatch. Okay, we haven't moved him up far enough, so now I know I just need to inch him forward. Literally inch him forward. This is a waste of time. But I do of course want to keep him in cover. Which might be an issue. I'm gonna move him around to the other side of the car and then move behind this truck. Because this guy should of course survive this onslaught. Okay. And then move. What are you trying to prove? Okay. Move him behind the truck. Hunker down. And again, overwatches. No nothing. So this might go on a bit. So I'm doing this space per space because I know there's a two spawn triggers that are really close together. So if I move him up too much, we'll have way too many enemies to handle. We still have one rocket to blast the roof if needed. There. Yeah, there Keep we the go. On the move. So that's the Tin Man that I showed you. So that's one overwatch shot and down immediately. Down for the count. Thank you, Yang. So, okay. Only one. I think. Only one? I think so, eh? No trouble. Okay, great. So then... We're going to move the survivor up one space. And try this again. Strike one. There's another one. That's the one on the truck. Which is great news, which means that if Blake manages to kill that guy... Yeah, there she goes. Oh, wow! Woo! Great, 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 great. Superb, even. So, this is working really well, so I'm gonna move up Weiss as well, so she has okay. a better vantage point and better cover, more importantly, to take those guys on from. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Is that... isn't that full cover? Or did that just give up because I blew everything up? Okay then. I'm gonna put her here, out of cover. Because I noticed one that's gonna spawn on top of here as well. I'm now we need commander. to quickly move to the other side. Because I think they're gonna start spawning on top of the roof. So now that, now that we've cleared out the back, I'm gonna have to uh, move my soldiers up on top of the roof, all of them, because uh, we're gonna have a few drops down there. Stepping so let's just dash, we know that nobody's gonna drop on us when we there. don't move the other guy. Rolling out. But just in case, we still have an overwatch shot. The other ones stop moving. If Yang gets on top of the roof, thank you. So overwatch and then hunker down. Nothing drops now, okay. So now, uh, I think the Tin Man drops around here somewhere. So I'm gonna try and get a few flank shots. If possible, I think it's here somewhere. 
I need to be careful. Let's put her over there. And then Blake. Maybe a bit closer. Still not moving. And head down. Okay, the moment of truth. So I think a sectoid and a tin man. So overwatch shots on everyone. Move the survivor up one space. And as I said, overwatch shots. Looks like the aliens are sending in reinforcements. There we go. Commander. Yeah, that's a sector probably. Yeah, there he goes. The stupid thing now is that they're all going to shoot the sector and not the uh, the biggest threat. Bye bye. Still up. Yeah, Shot there we go. So I think almost everyone got a kill in already. Blake was the MVP already. So. He's on Overwatch, so we just need to kill him with conventional fire. Okay, that was completely unnecessary. Two damage. So then Blake, uh, Yang will have to finish him with a 100% shot. There we go. Okay, and all the rest needs to reload Ready right to now because it's not over yet, I think. So I think I'm going to move her to this corner. Yes, there's a drop around here somewhere as well. I'm not entirely sure about the positioning of this one. But maybe just in Moving case I'm going to put Blake here. Weiss over here. Location. Yang can move Bonus. over here. And reload, Overwatch, I'll go down for now, and Overwatch, and reload. So if all goes well, I don't think anything can go wrong right now. I believe. Yes, I believe, I just believe. So let's move him up a few spaces now, because I think it's the only drop that's left. Uh, Overwatch, Overwatch! Overwatch. And you guessed it, Overwatch. <laughs> Nothing yet. So let's move him up even more. And full cover behind the tank. Still nothing. We're getting close to the evac. So behind the car. Completely out of sight. It always makes that double noise when we put our heads down for uh, Hostiles are inbound, Commander. one of the soldiers. There we go. Ah, it's over there. Okay. A tin Man. Anything else? Oh, we do have anything else. Oh, shit. Good luck I moved Yang around. Jesus. Ooh. Yeah, he's down. He's dead and Yang promoted. Oh, we... Couldn't quite kill that one, apparently. Still on Overwatch, so... Uh, 91, does that change with the pistol? Yeah, 100%. Bye-bye! Amazing. Simply amazing. Uh, I think we can almost reach. But I'm... Not entirely sure if there's gonna be no drops anymore, so uh, I'm gonna move Yang a bit closer again. Because I don't want to have any surprises at this point. No, okay. Then we're home free, I think. We can put him inside the evac zone. Or not. <laughs> okay, just stand right in front of the evac zone. We're gonna be fine. Watch something drop right now. Oh, 
Okay, no. We're home free. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. No operatives lost. Great. I couldn't have thought about it any better. Dying palace. Well, nobody died in the dying palace, so thank you. And I will gladly take that reward. Excellent work, all around. Oh, and three promotions. Another impressive effort from our troops. So all our corporals promoted to sergeant and Yang promoted to lieutenant. So why is... Oh, low profile, that's amazing. But I really like the smoke. Mm. Makes partial cover count as full. I really don't want to lose that one. I think one smoke should be enough. <laughs> I didn't take resilience, so I should take low profile. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. We need to up the survivability of our troops. Yang with 19 kills. Heat ammo or bring them on. Well, that's a no brainer. I never really used bring them on. So uh, we're gonna use the heat ammo because we're gonna be able to use that. That also works on the seekers we've been encountering, so uh, he don't ammo it is. And then, Blake. Hollow targeting, which means that if we shoot or suppress an enemy, we everybody gets 10 aim on attacks on that target, which can be handy, but close and personal is amazing for an assault. Uh, which means that the first standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. So we can shoot at something that's really close by. We cannot combine this with run and gun, but we can combine that with a standard shot made after a move. So close and personal is amazing. And that's it. And we got another medal. One sectoid corpse, 12 tin man corpses and 22 weapon fragments which starts to add up nicely. We can sell a lot of those tin man corpses as well because there's not really that much use for them. And this, this is really nice. One engineer, one scientist and 150 we credits. Will be in touch, Commander. And I'm sure you'll be in touch. So what can we do with that 150? Um, yeah, we can hire soldiers, but I did want to see... Yeah, we forgot to check up on those. We got two new soldiers. Ivan will probably be a dude, so... This still is the Valkyrie playthrough. If you didn't notice, so... Ivan, sorry, you will not be getting a name from our lovely viewers. But Therese, 60 aim, which is, again, not incredible. But we've got another woman. woman which is the name of the game right now. Uh, we are going to have to level up some of our other troops because this is starting to uh, look like an American Canadian team only. And I do love everybody from every country. Everybody! But another urban combat badge which gives us another 5 defense in cover for the one I put this on. Uh, so Blake and Yang got this one already. Hmm. I think Wise can have that. So Partial now counts as full with her and she gets another 5 defense when in cover. Which gives her automatically a 45 defense, I think, when she's in uh, any kind of cover. Which is great. The new um, engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're so we now have, have 15 now. engineers. Which is starting to add up nicely as well. We have two satellite satellites incoming. We have a satellite uplink incoming. The officer training school is also being built. So with that 150, what I am going to build uh, in this circle over here is workshops. The first workshop between parentheses we're going to make is the cybernetics lab, which is really cheap actually. It's only 50, uh, and we're going to use that to make a mech. So cybernetics. Begin construction. And we have another bit of maintenance cost for this facility, but that's alright. We still have a hundred. Uh, I'm gonna use that to hire two more additional soldiers in the hopes of getting more women. 
and then the rest will be able to use, I think, for beam weapons, which are coming in nine days. But that's about it. I'm going to check up on the research. The research team, Commander. I've already put so the seven new scientists to work in the lab. right now. We could do with a few more, uh, but we'll see about that in the future. So nine days for beam weapons. I'm going to check. Experimental warfare, also nine days. No, I want those beam weapons by the time we get uh, another annoying mission in the future. But, and I said but again, mission control! Let's start scanning. Crap, that's what I was afraid of. The terror attack. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? Why do this? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. Okay. Uh, we're going to take Blake, because Blake will be very handy to deal with the, the new type of enemy we're going to be dealing with in this mission, with her close and personal shots. I might even take a shotgun. So the aliens are going out on a full frontal assault on one of the cities. And I'm hoping that's a European city actually. And there we have the chrysalid. Yeah. Handy, isn't it? In Mexico City, so that's America. So we need to send the Sky Ranger. Sadly, also no officer training school yet, so we can't take five people with us. But, next time I'm not going to change the team, sadly, because uh, terror attacks can be enormously difficult. We have the heat demo, should we encounter Seekers, but I don't think they spawn on terror attacks. Um, Sniper will be incredibly handy, especially if we can gather on top of a really nice vantage point. Uh, we're gonna need the med kits, probably. So that's also a given. And Blake will need that extra HP, so she's at HHP, 8 HP right now. Gonna need that. I'm doubting whether to give her a shotgun. So the difference between the assault rifle and shotgun is that the assault rifle goes two to four damage with a 10% critical chance and five to seven critical damage, while the shotgun goes three to five damage, shorter range, 20% critical chance, and one damage increase in the critical damage. Good. And I think I am going to go with the shotgun which will come in handy with the close and personal perk as well. So, shotgun for Blake, which changed a bit. But otherwise, same team as we're used to. And this is gonna hurt. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And next time, we'll go on a terror attack. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed the episode. And subscribe to my channel for more of these. So, see you next time in the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye!